Ross Hillman with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional TGIF, Today God is First. Is it a time for you yourselves to be li- Oz Hillman with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional TGIF, Today God is First. <coughs> Today's message is entitled Paneled Houses. Is it a time for you yourselves to be living in your past? The prophet Haggai wrote about a people who had lost concern for the need to build God's house because they were focused on their own worldly needs. It is a dangerous place to get with God when our world begins to focus around increasing our pleasure, building bigger and better homes, and failing to make what is important to God important in our own lives. This should be a warning to all of us. Jesus entered the temple area and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. It is written, he said to them, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. Jesus came into Jerusalem and found the workplace believers buying and selling in the temple. As far as they knew, this was an acceptable practice in their day. Their fathers did it, and now they were doing it. It was business as usual. Jesus got angry, turned over the tables, and said that his house was a house of prayer. He found the workplace believers of the day, seeing his house as a place for profit, not prayer. They had stepped into a place of complacency that was not acceptable to the Lord. When we begin to blend in with the moral condition of an ungodly world, we begin losing God's perspective on life. It is easy to begin blending in with our culture and to accept what is being modeled by the ungodly. God called us to be salt in a world that needs much salt. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made sultry again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. Each of us must ask ourselves if we have lost our salt. Are we having an impact on our world, or is our world having an impact on us? Ask God to give you a vision for how you can be salt to your world today. Father, I pray that those listening today will be salt and light in every aspect of their world, their workplace, their city, their community, and their families. Give us the grace to live unto you in every aspect of what we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. Do you know why God made you? Do you know your purpose? Did you know there is a book in heaven with your name on it? Oss Hillman has created an informative resource called How to Discover Why God Made You that will help you discover the answers to these and more questions about purpose, calling, and God's will for your life. This downloadable resource is yours free by going to MyPurposeDownload.com. That's MyPurposeDownload.com.